Okay, so you have a buyer. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up your uh, search. So I'm going to do a search and I'm going to do it for active. Price between 200 and 450, single family, Tempe Chandler and Mesa. <clears throat> so there's how many? There's 40, and so I'm going to knock this down a little bit because he says he wants three bedrooms, two bath. He wants to be at 1,400 square foot or more. <clears throat> so there's 28. Um, he wants a two-car garage, so I'm going to go into garage spaces, minimum two. Okay, so there's 18, and so he does not want to live uh, past, um, let's see, what's this? He doesn't want to live past Val Vista, which is right here, so I'm going to draw a box. And I'm going to go from Tempe to Val Vista. Okay, so that knocks it down to four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these four. <clears throat> I'm going to unselect these. This was from a previous search. And I'm going to just flip through these pictures really quick. All right, so that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Hmm. That looks like a mess when it rains. I'm not going to pick that one. So I'm going to pick this one and this one. And this one. Let's see what this one looks like. This one has a pool. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to go back into my detail and make sure that it's not a um, age restriction, which you would find under listing condition uh, contract info. It would be right in here. And this one is not either. So, um, all right, so I've selected two. Okay, both of these have, have showing time used. So the next thing I'm going to do is, after I go through and make sure that they can do an FHA loan, and this one is conventional only or VA. So I'm going to call this agent and say, David, why can't we do an FHA? Is there something wrong with the house that uh, you don't want to do that with, that, that the seller can't fix or what? If he says, no, go ahead and send it in. We're okay with FHA. A lot of people don't like using FHA for new financing because um, they think that they're going to ask for different things for safety issues and stuff. But when I look through the photos on here, it doesn't look like anything's going to come up. It looks like it's pretty well taken care of. Um, So I'm gonna set, well, I'm just gonna pretend that this says FHA and these are okay to see. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Map and I'm gonna go to Driving Directions and I'm gonna click View and Google Maps and I'm gonna see where these two places are. So I'm gonna add my destination to find out how long it's gonna take me to get to the first one. He wants to start at Diamond, um, so I'm gonna take my house and go first. And then we're going to go to Diamond and then Glade. Or if you wanted to go to Glade next, you could go that way. So I'm going to start at my home and go to Glade and then to Diamond and then back home again. All right. So um, how long is it going to take me? I go to Details. For me to get to Di for me to get to Glade, which is right here, is going to take me 17 minutes. And then for me to get from Glade to Diamond is going to take 11 minutes. So I write that down on a piece of paper and I X out of here. Or you can go and get a snipping tool. This is a snipping tool. You do new and you go like this. And then you come up here and you print it. <clears throat> and then when you print it, you can put down 930 right here and then 10 o'clock or 1015 for right here so that you know when you're going to go. <clears throat> Once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and close this out here. 
and close this and you're going to print both of these listings and you're going to make sure that it's private for yourself. Um, I also go down here and do a map and I do print combine on map settings. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go to one and then two or two and one, whichever way I set it up. Once I'm confirmed, I'm going to write here confirmed. I'm going to write it on here confirmed. Do not enter a house unless you've been confirmed to show. Um, I'm going to take notes when we go into the houses on everything that the buyer says about the house. So I have paper right here. So when I go to write the contract up or the offer up, I can say um, like this one says washer and dryer hookup only. And what does this one say? Washer and dryer inside. It doesn't say that they go with it. If they did, I would write down the make and model right here uh, and take a picture so that I have that for future reference. Like this one doesn't even have a refrigerator. And this one has a refrigerator. So I'm going to take a picture of the refrigerator and write down here. I'm going to write GE profile or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, stainless side by side and then when I write my offer it's going to say stainless side by French doors with freezer on bottom as seen in property on 319 okay all right so now I'm going to go back to after I print these out I'm going to go back here and I'm going to print them as public and I'll show you the difference between those they're still going to get the map uh, the public does not have any of the information the private information like the private does all right, they don't need to know codes and alarm codes and anything about uh, the personal stuff of the seller. Okay, so I would print that out. I put theirs on a clipboard, mine on a clipboard. I give them a pen. They go through it. They write down what they want. Some do want to do that. Some don't want to do that. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my search results. And I'm going to go into this one and go to detail. And I'm going to go to showing time. So this is the first one that we're going to see at 9 o'clock. So I'm going to set up a showing time and it's going to be Sunday and I want to see it at nine o'clock and request a showing an appointment. So do you see here where it says request not yet confirmed? You can't go in until you get confirmed. What's going to happen is they're going to contact you via email. However, you have your showing time set up on your app on your phone and then they'll say confirmed or not confirmed. Once you're confirmed, this will turn green. I'm going to cancel this right now. So I go back into showing time and it says click here to cancel showing and then cancel appointment because I don't want to hold that open. All right. I'm going to go back to my listings. I'm going to go to the second one. This one is showing time. I'm going to set it up so that it's right here. And if I set that first one up for nine o'clock, then I'm going to set this one up for maybe 10 o'clock. If I'm 15 minutes away, we're going to go at 9 o'clock to show the house. We're going to spend 20 minutes there, maybe. So that's 9.20. And then it takes 17 minutes to get to the next one. So I'm thinking about 9.45, but I don't want to rush. So I'm going to put maybe um, maybe 10 o'clock will be the next one. I'm not going to hit this because then I have to, I have, well, yeah, let's see what happens. So this one also says not yet confirmed. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to cancel this until I'm confirmed. I can't show the house, so I got to make sure I'm confirmed. Sometimes what will happen is you'll set it up so that you'll have one showing here, one showing here, one showing here, and they will show you the addresses that you're going to. Um, and then this one will come up and say you can't see it until two. And this one will come up and say you can't see it. You can only see it at 930. So you have to switch them around. So make sure that you um, end up um, make sure that you end up uh, make, making sure that you're confirmed. So this is the email that you'll get. So showing it says um, right here. Beware your showing has not is not confirmed yet until you hear from the listing agent. He's probably thinking, what is this Linda Tumalo doing, making appointments and canceling? But anyways, that's how it is. So um, it'll, it'll tell you which house it is and what time you requested. And then once you get approved, it'll say confirmed. And you should get that on your text message if you have it set up correctly. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my listings. And that's how you do that. When you go to show a house, 
um, you're going to open the door, you're going to go look, sometimes the lockbox is on this side, sometimes it's on this side, sometimes it's on the door. Um, I don't know where it is here. It's probably on this side, uh, on a hose bib or something. And so when I walk through the house, I'm going to let them go in first. You always keep yourself between you and the door, um, unless you know the people. So you're going to walk through, you're going to say, oh, this is very nicely decorated. Um, and you're going to point things out. You're going to look underneath the kitchen sink to make sure that it uh, doesn't have any leaks and stuff. You're going to look for drippy faucets. You're going to take a picture of this right here and make sure that you can see who the maker is. It's right here. Um, so that when they go to close and they swapped it out for the garage refrigerator, you can say, no, nope, that's not the right one. Bring the other one back. Um, and so you're just going to go through here. Let's see what else I can pull out. Okay, washer and dryer. You're going to take a picture of the washer and dryer. And when you go to write your offer, you're going to say that it says, uh, I don't know what kind these are. Touch uh, LG. So it's an LG. And they're uh, dryers, front loader, top loader, stainless steel for LG washer and dryer. And let's see, does this washer and dryer convey? No, so the washer and dryer does not convey. Well, if you're offering over 445, you might want to ask for the washer and dryer, unless your buyer has their own washer and dryer. Okay, so um, if you're going to do the offer, um, make sure that you write in what kind of refrigerator it is and washer and dryer. Uh, otherwise, they can swap it out, like I said. Okay, so there you have it. You know how to get from one place to the other. If you go to map, you go to driving directions, you go to view, go, go, view and Google Maps, you can place these in different orders. You can find out what your um, details are by how long it will take you to get from one place to the other. If you want to move them, go back up here to this back. If you want to move them, if you want to add your own house uh, to this to find out how long it will take you to get to the first house, uh, go back down to details. And it'll tell you from, uh, oops, I got to go back and I got to make my house the first house. Go back to details and my house from here to here is going to take 22 minutes. And then from diamond to glade is going to take 10 minutes. So make sure you have enough time in between each place. You don't want to set this up for nine o'clock. Say this was my first showing, nine o'clock. It's going to take me 22 minutes to get here. I don't want to set this one up for 930 because we're going to go here. We're going to spend 20 minutes here. So that's 920. It's going to take 22 minutes to get here. So I'm going to do this at 945 or 10 o'clock. All right. So make sure you space them out good. Don't show a house unless you've been confirmed. Um, and then um, write down everything that they say for each house so that when you go to um, write up your offer, you'll remember what they said. Like, hey, I want that uh, vase in the backyard or whatever that's to convey or whatever it is. Or you can contact the listing agent when you go into details. Make sure that um, it doesn't have, oh, there's an open house here today. Make sure it doesn't have any uh, documents. Let's see if any of these have documents. Here's the documents. So it's got a listing packet. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Arizona offer checklist. Okay, so this is for open door. So you have, have to fill out all this stuff, including the contract when you fill out an open door. And this is property disclosures. So you would also include this. And this one here, when you go into report, you have to upload um, your offer into um, right here, opendoor.com slash make an offer without the period at the end. It's FHA uh, eligible and um, uh, they're pretty easy to work with. I worked with them. It was smooth. They were great. Kelly Robbins was great. So there you have it. If you have any questions, give me a call.